So a quick question and answer video today. I'm gonna to explain walk ups and walk downs and just talk about a simple big picture overview of what these are, how to use them and when to use them. So let's get into this question. So Bill, Bill writes in saying, David, can you address walk ups and walk downs? Are there standard ones for each chord transition? They really make a huge difference and I'm not sure where to start in adding them. So Bill, thanks for your support on Patreon. Thanks for asking this question. Happy to answer it for you. So to answer this question, I'm gonna pull up this little tool here. This is a web tool I built. It's called Fret Monster. And basically what it does is it shows you a model of the fretboard and you can pick your key, you can change it from C to A, for example. And all it's going to do is change the notes to match the notes in that key. Now you don't need to understand all the theory behind this and everything. I'm gonna use this as a little guide as we go along here. But let's get back to the guitar for just a second. I'll start off by saying, um, anytime you play a song, it's in a certain key, right? And every key has seven different notes. Now you don't need to know all the keys, you don't need to know all the notes. What I want you to understand is that these notes are going to be um, what the chords are based off of in any one key. And here's the important part about that, right? It has to do with bass notes. Whenever we play any chord, like a C chord, the bass note of that chord, right, the thickest note we're playing that you hear, is going to have the same name of the chord itself. So a C chord is going to have a C bass note. Unless you hear otherwise. There are exceptions to this, but I'm not gonna, those are the, the exception and not the rule. A G chord is gonna have a G bass note. An A minor chord is gonna have an A bass note, right? A is a note. Notes are neither major nor minor, right? The chords can be major or minor, but the notes are just like alphabet things, right? So any anytime you hear a chord, if I say play a C chord, you can know that the bass note of that is going to be a C. And now say we're gonna go between two different chords a C and a G, okay? Now, if we look at our little fret tool here, I'm in the, I'm in the key of C. We have a ma major is the scale we're using. Let's default to that. Let's pretend that no others exist for the moment. Now, this note right here, the third fret of the fifth string is right here, okay? That's a C. Now, if we were to play that in the piano, just for reference, okay, you hear that, right? Now, if we look, we can go from a C to a B to an A to a G, Right? And I could play that in the piano as well. And you could walk it right back up. Okay, basically that's just going between the C and the G. Now, here's a way I would recommend thinking about this. And if you go to Fret Monster and you do show intervals instead of notes, what it's going to do is instead of showing you the, the, the name of the notes, it's gonna show you the intervals of that scale. Now to me, this is more helpful because lots of times, lots of times, not always, but lots of times walk downs are gonna be between the one, which is the, again, one sort of equals the name of the, the scale we're playing. So a C chord, the bass note is gonna be the one, okay? If we go between a one and a five, we're gonna count down. And under a one is you go back to a seven and a six and a five and a four and a three and a two and a one and seven and sort of repeats over and over again, right? If I were to go from one down to five, right? If I was to go from five back to one, five, six, seven, one, okay? And if I was to go say one, two, four, one, two, three, four, and walk it back down, right? And you could, you get the idea. Now, if we were to bring in the chords to that, start on a C, let's go from a C down to a G. Stay on the G for a bit, and let's walk it back up. Now let's walk it up to that G, the F, I'm sorry, right? One, one, two, three, four. Walk it down. Four, four, three, two, one. And one more time, walk it down. One, one, seven, six, five. Five, five, six, seven, one. To just illustrate that point, let's go to a different key. Let's go to the key of A. So I'm gonna to go to Fret Monster here, I'm gonna click on A, and now our one is gonna be on the fifth string, and right here, this represents the open fret, right? If I was to play the fifth string and not push down anything, that would equal one, right? Again, this column represents every string if I'm pushing down nothing. So in the key of A, if I was to go one, two, three, four, four would be the open fourth string for a D, I could walk it back down to an open fifth string. And now let's walk it down to the fifth. I'm gonna go one, seven, six, five. Open.
open E string is the five. So again, let's look at the one, the four, and the five as far as the notes. So. Okay, so those are gonna be the walk-ups and walk-downs we're gonna do. Now let's apply the chords of A, D, which is the, you know, if we were to toggle and show the notes instead, we can see that this four is really a D. And if the five down here is an E. So this is a little music theory trick, is that the one, the four, and the five are the major chords in any key. So in this case, we're gonna go between an A chord, a D chord, and an E chord, okay? Okay, so if we were to play those chords, play an A chord, let's walk it up. One, one, two, three, four. One, four, four, three, two, one. And walk it down. One, one, seven, six, five. Five, five, six, seven, one. Okay, so what I just showed you there is the walking up to the four from the one, coming back down to the one, walking down to the five, and coming back up to the one again. Now the thing is, is you can do these walk-ups and walk-downs uh, with other chords in a key too. For example, you mentioned going from an A to a C. The example there is usually gonna be in the key of C, where an A minor is gonna be a chord that's in that key. So we can walk from the A minor to the C. So let's check this out. We wanna go from this bass note, which is the one, we wanna go from the one to the seven to the six. And the six is what the A minor uh, bass note is going to be. It's the sixth degree of the scale. And if we were to go from six to seven to one. Um, okay, so. Six, seven, one. One, seven, six. Okay, I'm talking about the bass notes. Six, seven, one. And I could go over to the four here, right? One, two, three, four. Go back down to the one. Four, four, three, two, one. Let's go back to the six. One, 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 seven, six. Six, five, 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 six, seven, one. Okay, so there we have uh, an idea there as well. Now, I, I'd like to put together a lesson explaining the chords that are in each key. This is something you can look up and find, and it's very helpful because this will give you uh, a sort of guide about the different chords that are within any key that typically you can walk between, right? But most of the time, it's gonna be between the one and the four or the one and the five as far as the chords go, right? So every every key you're in has a one, has a four, has a five, and um, and there, there you go. So Bill, that's a quick overview to get you started. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have questions. There's all kinds of little edge cases and caveats you could throw into this. I'm not gonna get into them in this little video here, but um, I wanted to get this uh, answer out to you and uh, be happy to follow up and show you some more detail and plan a, a proper lesson around this with a nice PDF to get you going. But I hope this was helpful in the meantime and let me know if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to help. But uh, thanks for the support, Bill. And any of y'all out there watching this, let me know in the, uh, send me an email or if you're on Patreon, write a comment. I would love to answer any questions you have. So thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later and uh, see you around. Bye-bye.